Hey guys, welcome to day one of the National First Reef Training Clinic. Our silver all knocked out. Hey, the water. Even though he had a whole bucket of water, he's still drinking now that he gave me first stuff. Good boy. Look how dirty well I got. After I fully washed you well back. What are you doing? Look. So first up, I've got a jumping lesson on silver, and then I have a lecture with a sports psychologist, which is really cool. And I'm excited for that because, I don't know, nerves are a bitch. <laughs> So her jumping lesson went really well, but it ran over, so now I'm in a big rush to get Welbeck ready for her lesson. Welbeck, you look all messy. Oh no. We're trying to find the arena. Oh god. Oh yeah, it's here. Do you see it? Yeah. <laughs> Thank god. Lesson over. Good girl. So this morning we had a lesson, I had it on silver and it was a jumping lesson with Ian Fearon and we did lots of these rollbacks, fence, rollback, fence, another rollback, fence. Then we also did this really good uh, exercise that I'm definitely going to do at home so I'll definitely film a video on it. So you have the four fences in a row, they're all two strides apart and then each one only has one side up so it's like slanted and then it's like alternates so you get them to change legs over each one it's really cool i'll see if i can find a picture or something because i know i didn't describe that very well and i didn't get a video which i'm really really sad about because it felt oh it was just so much fun it was really really good i'm definitely gonna do it on well back like i think she'll really she'll um she'll really improve on it it's good for suppling up getting them really supple getting to work their different shoulders everything like that really really enjoyed that and then we did some bounces and then the second lesson was on Welbeck and it was a pull work and gymnastic lesson so we did two pulls six strides apart um Welbeck finds it very stressful but he really helped me get her to relax I kind of went into half seat and she just instantly was way better she's just such a sensitive bird like such a reoccurring comment that oh she's such a sensitive horse like she is very sensitive horse so just me sitting on her like made her panic so I went into half seat she was way better and then we did some like uh, S shapes over like a little cavaletti and poles and everything and she was super super good So we just finished lunch and I had a really nice quiche. They made me a nice vegetarian food, I'm very grateful. And now I'm tacking up silver for a flat work lesson. And then straight after that, we have a jumping lesson with Welbeck. Oh my God, someone just walked by and I'm really embarrassed. Hi everybody, my name is Michaela and I'm here to teach you how to put on a hairnet. <laughs> okay, first of all, do you see, there's kind of a thicker side here. Okay. These are the real women ride hairnets from America. Hashtag not spawn. Not spawn, <laughs> not AF. And then you put it up just halfway through your ears and pull it, keep putting it up. So till attractive. You, till you look like a smurf. Oh my god. And then you tuck in any stray ways. Don't get a fringe. Bad idea. Been there, done that. And then you get your hat. You kind of push it up so it's not going to be there. And then you get your hat and. Hazam. Hazam. Looking fab.
Silver doesn't like the flies. So I'm just finished my flat work lesson with Silver. I've been so bad at vlogging and like talking about my lessons. Um, I will we'll definitely try and get a video of my jumping lesson with Welbeck. Um, that is on after this. Um, I'm just gonna go get tacked up now. Uh, Silver was very good. He's a little bit stiff on one rein, so we're really working on that. And I got a few clips of our lesson. And uh, so yeah, we were doing lots of circles and going through like um, poles, like parallel poles to work on our straightness and then like walking in between them so that like the transitions get straighter as well, which was really good for him. And yeah, he was definitely more supple by the end. He was a little bit more tired today after his jumping lesson this morning, um, but he was a good boy. And I'll tell you more about our jumping lessons and gymnastic lessons later. There are so many arenas, like so many lessons going on at the same time. Here are the horses. And here's a flat work arena that I was actually meant to be in and accidentally got into the wrong group. Sweaty. He's so sweaty. Oh, he is. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Oh, just wipe your face. Clean your face. <laughs> Good boy. Hello, Beck. Ready for your jumping lesson? Are you ready? Well, Beck is so done with life. <laughs> Jumping lesson time. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Can't wait. Just finished my lesson with Welbeck. I am so tired. My hips are so sore. My ankles are really sore. <laughs> I'm just not used to riding this much. Oh my god, Welbeck, what do you think? Welbeck's kind of tired as well. <laughs> Now our next lesson is done. She's eating, munching some hay. She has some water. She has sponged off. Good girl. We had a very good lesson. I just looked back at the video and it was actually 
looks better than it felt, so I'm pretty pleased. I thought I was absolutely galloping around and looked at the video and it actually wasn't really that bad. I thought it was way worse than it looked. Um, so yeah, pretty happy with that. So we just had dinner. I had a lovely vegetarian lasagna, which was really, really nice. After the two lessons, we went and we had a lecture with a sports psychologist called Poppy. And um, it was really, really interesting. I definitely got some good notes. I think I'll do like a video on what I learned and kind of like some other tips and tricks and stuff like in a separate video because it's kind of too much to talk about now. Um, but yeah, it was really interesting. And well, probably the main thing I took away was to try visualization and um, so you basically walk the course and then you go to your car lorry whatever and just close your eyes and like literally visualize exactly what you're going to do like from the moment you walk into the ring like are you going to look at the judge are you going to canter in which corner are you going to do a circle like know exactly what you're going to do how you're going to ride it and it's like when you do, when you get used to it and you get really good at it she said it's like having two horses in the class like the first horse is when you're going around in your brain and then the second horse is your actual round so you know like if you have two horses in a class your second round is going to be better because you know the course you kind of like you know how it's going to ride and you're just kind of more used to it and you know it better so you're just going to get that without having to bring another horse so i thought that was really really interesting i'm definitely going to try it um i'm definitely going to try it Hopefully it works. I think you just have to practice a lot. I think it's quite hard to like keep the concentration the whole way around, but yeah, I'm definitely gonna give that a go. And yeah, um, we're gonna do some, I think a team challenge later, which is pretty cool. Um, we're, we're in teams and like the winner wins like chocolates or whatever, and you have to do like, it's like sports kind of thing, or like activities. I'll explain later when I know more. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I did get a bit sunburnt today. It's not a good look. I'm quite red <laughs> um, And I didn't bring any sun cream. So there's that Mom, I know you told me to bring sun cream, but I forgot Okay. <laughs> so yeah, I'll probably see you later when we're doing um, team sports or when we're doing the evening feed with the horses So see you later <laughs> Definitely not fast forward this video. <laughs> Michaela's so ready. Go on with Michaela. Don't get hit. <laughs> you do. <laughs> She always lifts up her look foot like that when she eats, it's so funny. So that's it for today. See you guys tomorrow. You can't see me, but good night. <laughs>